Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice with Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crown. Today, we'll be reacting to not one, but two episodes of Grand Blue in order to make up for all the time we didn't upload those episodes. And also I'm thinking of from this point forward, I'm gonna continue with all of these Grand Blue episodes as double episodes for you guys so we can kind of machine gun through the rest of these episodes have a good time and then get to some new potentially sponsored anime from some more of you guys so with that out of the way in the last episode now i don't remember too much just because it's been so long but i do remember them having to take somewhat of a test and during that test they tried to come up with so many different ways to cheat they had like a little cheat sheet written behind the paper of a water bottle that they were trying to look at like they tried so many different tricks none of it worked in the end and so many of them ended up failing i think the only person that passed was uh chisa but outside of her i think everyone else failed so it was looking bleak for them but anyways we have a brand new adventure ahead of us in these next two episodes so let's just jump right into it if you guys enjoyed the episode make sure to leave a like for your boy in the bottom of the video comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice on the content make sure to check out the cloud crowd discord link will be in the description and also consider supporting me and my channel through patreon for as low as two dollars all patrons two dollars and up will be getting these episodes before anyone else so if you would like to be the first one in line to check out these videos that will be the way to do so but with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode Alright, so this is the part of the video where you guys can pick one of two options, or both, if you want, I guess. But anyways, the first option will be clicking the source video, which will be the first and second link. The first link will be this episode 7, and then the second link will be episode 8. So you can click those, bring up the videos, and then get ready to sync it with me. Or you can click the third link, which will be the mega link, that will have my reaction and the anime all on one screen, if you'd like to do that. But if you are going to follow along, we will be starting this in, all right, three, two, one, go. All right, Let's see how our volume is. All right, okay, we're good. Makeup exams. I don't know. <laughs> you guys don't have a pretty good track record so far. Ah. Uh, oh my gosh. Dig. Oh no. Oh man, it's happening again. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> it took them a second to process what was going on. There were like cobwebs between the cogs in his head, and then they finally started spinning. Dude, go hair. Such a jerk, man. <laughs> oh, man. But this sucks, dude. We just got rid of these guys. We had everybody like breathing down our necks trying to take us out because they found out that we were dating Chisa, and now. It's like, I thought we finally got rid of them, and it seems like they're coming right back around because they've heard that we live with her. And so now, oh man, this is not good. This isn't good at all. So now we're inviting all of these guys over to our place. So that already spells bad news because our place is already crazy enough without them. So adding these guys in. And plus, it seems like Kohei's going to try to sabotage us. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that look on his face is just screaming trouble. But I'm surprised. I mean, I'm sure it takes time to, like, grade their exams and stuff. But I thought they were gonna get their answers right there and see if they passed or not. 
But I mean, hey, fingers crossed, hopefully they did. Because I know that'd suck. <laughs> oh, that's true. Like, can we even really call them friends? Is he going to bring them into his room? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's awesome, sucks. What the heck is that doing in there? Oh, man. What's he come up with? A hat? Oh, man. <laughs> He's so jealous he's lost touch with reality. Dude, was everyone in his room? Oh no. Oh man, Whew. we bought ourselves a little bit of time. Oh no. Now they think that he was dressing up as it? Oh no, <laughs> this looks so bad. Why is all of their stuff in his room? Oh, I guess they do chill in his room, though, right? Oh, no. Oh! This is just getting worse and worse every second. And they have no idea. Dude, this reminds me of a uh, prison school when everybody was mistaking. Um, uh, dang, I can't even remember their names. Oh man, when they were mistaking the dude with the glasses and the main character for, uh, loving each other, like they'd always catch them in the weirdest situation that made it look like they were gay when they actually weren't. This seems just like that. Oh, no. If they found out that she lived here with Iori, oh, man. Oh no. Yeah, I feel like that that never works out for anyone. Is he expecting us to send him off like he's a brave soldier or something? <laughs> he just looks like an idiot. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Was Chisa there?
Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened to him. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, we get it. Yep. <laughs> Dude. They know exactly what happened to him. Dang. Dude, I feel like as soon as they leave his room, they're gonna find out the truth. Oh no! <laughs> I have a bad feeling. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Look at their faces, dude! <laughs> what? <laughs> Why didn't he only tell her? You're not going anywhere! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> And that's just Chisa right there, dude. She always steps in at the wrong moment. And of course, at the worst possible moment, she comes into his room. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Poor Iori, dude. An idiot. <laughs> what? He put the little anime girl on the front of his new jacket, too? That's interesting. Ah, oh, they're trying to get back at him. Dang. Just gonna throw us under the bus like that? Dude! We were looking like a squad right there. <laughs> We have the big dogs in the back. All right. Hmm. Dude, Ina's actually really nice when she doesn't have all that makeup on. Oh no! Oh, look at her face! You already know she's hating it. <laughs> oh, they don't recognize her. I wonder how good they actually are at tennis. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! What was that? These guys are animals! Dude! <laughs> Man, this reminds me of my freaking high school gym class whenever we play volleyball, dude. 
They'd go ham. Oh my god. What in the world? Ah, oh, he sabotaged us. And he got him with the perfect bait, too. Oh, he has to put something shady in there, then. Oh, those idiots. <laughs> I was about to say, like, why are they drinking so loud, dude? <laughs> Oh, he flipped the script on him. Oh, this is so bad. All right, you got this Chisa and Ina. Man, she is not feeling that outfit. Well, it seems like she's kind of starting to look past it now. Oh, no. Oh, she's heated now. <laughs> Heine's like, uh, we got this, yeah? <laughs> Dang, it looks like she's killing it. Dang. Oh my god! <laughs> There's a girl with a nice body? <laughs> god, we're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Iori that started this. Iori started this, so... Dang. Oh my god. And now he's actually saying it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, she's gonna mess him up. Oh, she took his uniform. Okay. <laughs> Dude, he looks so ridiculous. I mean, honestly, to be fair... Dink! I was gonna say, he's pretty hard to humiliate at this point. Dink! When did Iori get so good? When did Iori get good at anything? 
Oh, that's true. Dude, I love that look in his eye. <laughs> He's coming for blood. Trash! Wait, what in the world was that? Yeah, you're just pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. So it's one really good player and one really bad player against two pretty good players. And this is a team game, so. And they're recording him in his underwear. And also, I love how he just admitted that they're going to lose. <laughs> what would make you think that? Yeah, I was about to say it. Like, isn't that out of bounds? <laughs> he doesn't even care anymore. <laughs> oh, snap. Is he flipping the script? Oh! Dang, he wants to save the footage that bad. <laughs> uh <laughs> did, you, did you hear his neck? Oh my god. Bullseye. Dude, did you hear his neck crackle like that? <laughs> oh man. Oh no. And they're sober again. Dang, that's game. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Man, I'll never forget that sound, dude. His neck crackling after he got hit. <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh, wow. Diving. Oh, no. Okay. I thought he was going to say something else. Like, everyone's thinking he was going to say diving. Then I thought he was going to say something stupid. Dang. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Those two are ridiculous, dude.
But hey, good thing we're reacting to a double episode today, so we can jump right into the next one and hopefully uh, get to see them travel over to Okinawa. Alright, so here we are with episode 8. The links will be in the description if you want to follow along or if you want the full mega reaction all in one place. But without any further ado, let's just jump right into this in 3, 2, 1, go. Did it work? Hello? Okay. Alright. Oh my gosh, he brings that little girl with him everywhere. Oh, they're not even there yet. Oh, they are there. Are they? This place looks a little different. Oh, okay, they didn't go yet. Oh, man. What do we have planned today? Ugh. Man, it seems like we can never get a break. And you'd think, like, okay, we're going on this vacation. Away from everyone, away from the dudes trying to kill us. Uh, away from just everyday life struggles, and we can just relax, have a good time. But knowing Iori and, Iori and Kohei, it's still going to go downhill. But we're not there yet. We still have to apparently work this job and save up money because the tennis tournament paid for the travel expenses, but we still need some money so that we can actually do stuff there. Like getting there... It's only half the battle. Once we actually get there, like, we need money to actually do stuff, get food, a place to stay, all of that jazz, so. It makes sense. Oh, man. Huh. I'm surprised I'm hanging in for so long for this episode. Or, yeah, for this episode, because normally, like, my face feels horrible. After reacting to the first episode, just from smiling and laughing so much, I'm just aching everywhere. And I can kind of feel it right now, but I think I'm just kind of starting to get used to it. But that's like the struggle of reacting to comedy anime. That's why I have to react to this anime last out of all of the sponsored ones, because... Phew, man, this one puts a toll on you. That doesn't sound too bad. Just like moving furniture and stuff. Oh. Oh, we're about to see the bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, did they. Wait, wait. Did they spend it all? Oh, these idiots! <laughs> they blew their whole paycheck out of bar. Now she has a little nickname for him. Oh, man. All right, let's see what he's up to. Oh, he's a bartender. Ooh! My boy is looking clean! Honestly, dude, that seems like... I don't know, I don't know. When I think of, like, an ideal part-time job I'd want, I think a bar uh, bartender at a nice chill bar like that would be cool. Or like uh, working at a little cafe. I think both of those would be really nice, chill, relaxing jobs. Oh, 
Oh, does he own the bar? He seems like a nice dude. <laughs> oh man, we got a little lady killer over here. Yeah. I think it's just when he's around the boys, he's a completely different person. Oh, snap. Wait, try it on. Let's see how they look. Ooh! Ooh, okay! They're looking kind of clean! Okay, alright. <laughs> you guys are looking clean, but... Don't act like you guys are lady killers too now. Dude. <laughs> Dude, drinks and food and anime look so freaking good. Oh my god, are they gonna put an actual screwdriver? Oh my god, these idiots! <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just that dumb. <laughs> oh my god, they put a flathead instead of a Phillips. <laughs> Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, you can kind of expect this from someone. Someone with literally zero experience. Oh man, what's he imagining? I mean, why him? Oh my gosh. That's so cheesy. <laughs> They're gonna ruin this. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Already ruined the first step.
god. <laughs> he was getting back at him. <laughs> oh, man. These two are the worst duo, dude. They're the worst and the best duo at the same time. <laughs> Man. Oh, man. Oh no, this is only going to look bad in the end. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude. Oh my, this is going so terribly. He's asking the worst possible questions for him. Because they all apply to Chisa. Oh no, that's not T! Oh no, that's not T! <laughs> These idiots! <laughs> Look at what you did to this poor man. What does that mean? <laughs> he woke up immediately. <laughs> oh, he took it as... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yamamoto. Hey, the boys. All right, they got their own nice little chill spot. Dang, they're giving him plenty of reasons. Thing. Some friends. <laughs> oh man, this isn't gonna end well.
Oh, snap. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, that was so clean. <laughs> the way he threw that over his shoulder, dude. Now that guy was like, Does anyone know where he lives? <laughs> oh, this isn't gonna end well. <laughs> <laughs> He knows! He knows! Oh, man. Dude. Alright, how urgent is this package that you need to bang on his door? <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh man, they're doing them dirty. Oh no! <laughs> It must be them. <laughs> Dang. Oh, no. Are they trying to distract him? Oh, no. Oh, dude, that was so horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dang. Her arm is looking vascular as heck. This innocent little girl. Well, I guess she's not a little girl, but... <laughs> She looks so wholesome at first, and now she's strangling this man. Oh. Oh no. Oh, uh, but he's not picking up on this part. He only heard the first line. Oh man, this is playing out. Just like his beloved anime. His beloved 2D girls. Oh no. Now he's on board.
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they're saying it like this is some hidden rare talent or something. I mean, maybe it is a rare talent, but it doesn't seem like it's very good. <laughs> oh no. Okay, these have to be different voice actors, dude. What the heck? No one can do that. They ruined this man's life. Their faces. He feels bad. Dang. Oh, no. Yeah, you don't say that. Dang! She sent him flying. Oh, my God. And we're here to catch him. Oh man, what an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> oh man. But I guess at the end of the day, you know, he couldn't have changed that much. And he's still the, the friend that they all know and love. So, I mean, that's good for them. And I guess it's okay for him. It sucks that he lost this girl. This was probably his first girlfriend, but I mean, uh, at the end of the day, like... It didn't seem like he was too heartbroken over it, so whatever. <laughs> Alright, so that was the end of the episode. Another couple phenomenal episodes, as usual. I love this series. I know a lot of you guys do as well. And pretty much everything that I wanted to say, I said throughout the episode, so I don't have much to say in this little discussion. I mean, nothing like super thought-provoking happened in these episodes. It was just like a really super hilarious moments, like with them trying to get jobs, make money. Also, they had to compete against the tennis team that was trying to get revenge on them for them humiliating them at the pageant. So, I mean, it was a great watch overall, and I know I really enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed as well, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shana content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description, and also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that, I'm going to head out, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.